What's up guys? Long time no talk. I am your host ASC Praise and you are watching Praise TV, the place where we discuss all things Protoss as it relates to my favorite game StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This will be a much shorter episode because it is a revision and update of my first episode, I believe the comprehensive guide to all macro, micro, and production hotkeys. This is a follow-up video because uh, I showed an illustration in that video uh, that showed my hotkey setup from uh, one that I I actually created some time between Wings of Liberty and uh, Heart of the Swarm. This is my updated and refined setup for uh, Legacy of the Void specifically and not a whole lot has changed but there has been some refinement and a little bit more adaptation to this game so you guys can see a fresh Legacy of the Void Protoss setup. So let's go ahead and dive right in guys. I've made you guys a new graphic. This is the keyboard I'm currently using, the Poseidon RGB from TT Esports, an amazing brown switch keyboard. Love it, but that's for another video. I think I've already bragged about it in prior, so I'm not going to dull your ears with that, but let's just dive right into it. Um, so the first thing I want you to remember is we talked about doing the left uh, association with the keys. That means we're trying to push everything to the left side of the keyboard. Now, just a reminder that there's three types of alignment. Usually you have the Protoss players who put their nexus on four to either four, five, or six. So they have more of a middle alignment with their hand usage uh, and are kind of more spread out, but they have more of a central hand placement. Then you have the core, which I believe in a lot of ways uh, aligns everything to the right side of the keyboard, um, more from T over to the enter uh, button, so it's more right alignment. This is for left alignment. It's not the end all be all, but it's my setup and we're gonna walk through that. Um, so. A lot of the reason people do that is because you have to hit control uh, and shift with your pinky or your thumb and do weird crap to assign hotkeys. And a lot of people have not found unique ways to do that. So they'll just reassociate all their hotkeys all together with different alignments. So that's definitely a cool idea. But um, because I press my, I assign my hotkeys differently, uh, the left association is much easier. And I'll do another video on that later. So um, with that being said, let's walk through all the hotkeys. Um, let's start off with our camera hotkeys. The F series, F1, F2, 3, and 4 are my camera hotkeys. Uh, I assign them to different bases. In a game, if I go over four bases, I'll usually take those four and distribute it with F1 and 4 being the most outer bases, 2 and 3 being uh, central in between them. Uh, I may take one off of the main or something because I have base camera on my mouse as you can see. But oftentimes you don't really need to cycle through four or more bases. Uh, however, this is definitely going to do the job for you uh, for Grandmaster and Pro Level Play. Um, so then uh, let's just walk through the numbers here, guys. We have one Nexus, two is all complete army, three and four is for special units. Uh, this may include harass units early on, but then eventually in your composition you may want to um, reassociate uh, disruptors, blink stalkers, colossi, uh, phoenix, different things like that. Four is going to be more for your air stuff, however it can change as well. Uh, we're talking uh, void rays, phoenix as well, oracles. Um, Tempest, things like that. Usually have about three main army hotkeys. Uh, well, well, one main army hotkey with two distinguishers for special units. So that's really nice. Five is the robotics. Um, six is the Stargate. And I just want to make a special note about the robotics. I have rechanged the T and G key to make an immortal, make a colossus. That's so that I can use my middle and pointer finger really easily to produce an immortal and a colossus. Those are very important units that usually you make a lot of. I tried to re-switch the Y and H key to be the uh, Oracle and the Phoenix, or you know, into Void Ray stuff like that. But I haven't found a good way to reassociate those yet. So for now, the robotics has has been reassociated uh, to five. TGB um, for Observer, Immortal, Colossus, uh, and then I just make the Warp Prism, you know, normally how I do that. So then we go up to 7, you'll notice it's been relocated to Tilde on the top left hand side, and that is used for Harass, uh, a, a set of Harass units, uh, it can be anything from uh, Warp Prism, Oracle, um, uh, a small group of Blink Stalkers, a small group of Zealots or Adepts, uh, different things like that. Um, then we move to 8, which has been reassociated with the warp prism. That's on my space bar. Because I don't have to hit the, the uh, 
warp prism a whole lot or produce the warp prism or things like that. I just like to keep it on spacebar because um, you're barely double tapping the warp prism uh, and it's just a really convenient place to set it, especially since it's not a unit. I try not to associate it with the numbers at all uh, on the top part of the keyboard as far as that's concerned. Uh, moving along, we have 9 as the observer and notice that that is on the mouse. I think players a lot more time should start associating some of the either production or the um, uh, units that they don't quite use as often but are important to particular instances in your gameplay. So I associate the observer because uh, the only time I really need to move my observer around is in uh, light instances in PvP um, and in PvT. Not as much in PvZ since you usually have air units and things like that. And um, you know, a lot of people shortchange the fact that with hallucination, phoenixes, uh, oracle revelation, observers, pylon placement, and army placement and posturing, you can really observe in Legacy of the Vo Void uh, far more easier and completely null and void the observer. Uh, or just make one in most cases. I find that production coming out of the Robo is far more important in Legacy of the Void than the other games. Uh, so you don't really have to go as crazy on the Observers uh, ever since the Oracle has come out and other different tactical stuff. So yeah, I've put the Observer on the mouse, so I don't have to double tap it often, but it still keeps me thinking about it. And then uh, Mouse 4 is going to be your um, base camera, which just cycles through the bases. It's not super uh, advantageous to have, it, but I do like it sometimes just to be able to cycle through the bases and be thinking about my Sim City or uh, my defense and stuff like that. It's just really convenient there. Um, I also want to highlight the last part of my hotkey setup that is super fundamentally important, and that's the way that I cast spells. I have everything associated with E and R. So again, E as a primary spell is going to be, um, well, sorry, just to put this into perspective, Every unit's spell has been changed to E and R as far as the primary and secondary spell. If a unit has more than two spells, they're, they're the original hotkey that the game provides to cast those spells. But for the main spells, primary and secondary, I wanted to put all those on one key so that I can tab through them during a battle and just remember the sequences that I put together. It's really convenient. Again, we're trying to avoid any wrist movement at all, and this is super convenient. So E is going to be Pulsar Beam, Nexus Cannon, uh, Graviton Beam, Turn on the beam for the uh, void rays. Uh, I think I said blink already. Force fields. Um, the adept shade. Um, what else? Uh, the disruptor shots. Um, things like that. Your secondary uh, for R is going to be things like uh, closing the warp prism, uh, stasis ward. Um, uh, what else would be important on there? The Mothership Core has a couple of different uh, still spells that, that I've reassociated with those. Um, Guardian Shield. It's just really nice. So, uh, oh, it's for feedback as well. E as my primary would be Storm. Uh, R is also to close the warp prisms, or, or sorry, E's to open it, etc. So this is really nice for me because I can associate all the spells on two keys that are most important in the game. I don't got to be pressing all around the keyboard and it's just super convenient. I remember it took me a solid week to get that figured out, but it works like butter now and I don't even think twice now when I can just cast, you know, uh, Protoss is such an important race because the synergy between all of the unit composition as well as your ability to cast multiple uh, spells. I think I said in my prior video, every almost every unit in the Protoss arsenal is a spellcaster. So not moving your wrist and being able to cycle through spells is of utmost importance, including the ability to micro special units, harass, different things like that. So guys, um, that's my hotkey setup. If you guys have any other questions about it, please let me know. Put pictures of your hotkey setup and uh, even ask me questions about mine. I love to dive into this. I think more players should post their setup. If you have a center alignment or use the core, definitely show that perspective because uh, not everybody is going to want to do left alignment. But I wanted to give you guys a colorful illustration of something that I've been working on since Wings of Liberty has even came out. So again, 
Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. Hope to get back into some videos real soon. I got about 10 different episodes in the works that I'm going to kind of stagger out through the next couple of months. Um, and I'm going to try to keep it consistent to like either one a week or one every other week. We'll, we'll figure it out because we do have some events coming up for my team. So thank you guys so much. Again, I am your host, ASC Praise. You're watching Praise TV, the all-in-one place for everything Protoss and StarCraft II Legacy of the Void related. If you liked my stream, please or my uh, video please uh, follow the movement by liking me on Twitter or following me on Twitter uh, retweeting some of my posts I'm posting memes and everything that I do on there constantly and also join me on my stream I'm usually on every single night uh, as well as giving you guys new Starcraft music and things like that check through all the videos guys promote them uh, support them give honest critique if you like or don't like them or want to see new stuff I'm always open to changes and I appreciate you guys time thank you so much have a great day peace